Hey everyone, Aaron Meissner, National Tech Manager with IDI. Coming to you from Dallas, Texas today, showing you some more tips and tricks to keep this fusion gun working longer. One thing that is extremely important to the functionality of this gun are the clean passages where your side seals, your mixing chamber, your check valves pop into this fluid head. It's, it's pretty simple. I used these for a really long time. It's just a half inch fitting brush with stainless steel barbs on it. The problem with these is they wear down pretty quickly. The, you can see here, I've only used it a couple times and it's already it's already half the size as it was and it's, it's just, it, it doesn't look like it's gonna clean anything. So that can be dangerous. Putting that inside these these ports and, and, and uh, twisting it around can actually end up scratching it if you if you hold it at the wrong angle. So we're gonna get rid of that and I wanna show you a little trick. Uh, we take a drill and we get the, a drill bit that's about half the size of the hole. Uh, right now we're gonna do the side seal port just for example. Um, but one of the things I do is I take is I take steel wool, all right, and I'll try to wrap it around this uh, this drill bit. Make a big Q-tip out of this thing. Pull it tight, can get it twisted on there. Get a couple of them. Again, make a big old Q-tip out of it. All right. And we have, we have a perfect little brush to go inside this hole here. All right, go all the way through with it. It's all going the same direction. And man, you can really polish the inside of these chambers. It's, um, it's really uh, imperative to have a clean surface for these O-rings to seal properly. You can repeat this process with the same piece. You can, you can obviously get more, buy a whole bunch of this steel wool, but you can do this in all of these ports. Check valves, all your check valve ports, and even the front hole where the mixing chamber goes. So again, it's imperative to have smooth surfaces in here, polished, to where the O-rings can make a seal. You don't want to scratch it. You don't want to put any sharp picks or sharp screwdrivers in here. One thing I'd like you to keep in mind is when you're dealing with the smaller holes, say some of the passages in the handle, these are much, much smaller holes. If you're going to use a drill at all, I honestly don't even recommend putting it on a drill. Um, but if you, if you are, make sure that drill bit is half the size of the hole. Do not put the same size drill bit in that hole and and drill it, all, drill it out with, a, with a, any, type of, any type of mechanical drill. As long as you keep that in mind, you're gonna keep this gun running longer, running smoother, making more money. Again, Aaron Meissner, IDI Distributors. Have a great day. Like and share this video. Send it to all your buddies, and let's spray some good foam.